If you want to learn more about Varroa, the Varroa Destructor, go to the honeybeehealthcoalition.org, honeybeehealthcoalition.org slash Varroa. This is where you'll find information about doing treatments, how to check for mites, when to treat, and all that kind of information. What you're about to see is none of that. This is a chronicle of the results of several mistakes that I made. So let's take a look at the video. Hello everybody, welcome to Adventures of Beekeeping. My name is Dale, and I'm just now starting my second year in beekeeping. It's a sad day in the apiary today. Uh, this is that little swarm that I got one afternoon. I showed you a video of that. And what's happened is that the swarm didn't like the box, so they decided to go somewhere else. But after they left, and I didn't know they left, I went ahead and put a frame of brood in here. There's a plane going over. I went ahead and put a frame of brood in here to boost them up. Well, there's no foragers. There's just that frame of brood and a few um, nurse bees. So these, there's no food. The bees are emerging and they're covered with mites. So I'm gonna show you some pictures. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an alcohol wash on these bees. And uh, this is a loss, so. It might be difficult to see in the video here, but that bee right next to the hive tool has a mite right on its back. Do you see that mite right on its back? I don't know how to show you. Right there, that little brown thing, the mite of a row of mite. Now, if you look at the picture, there's other bees that have mites. This one has a mite right there, right there on its abdomen. That one has a mite on its abdomen. That one has a mite. That one has a mite on its back. I had one, I saw one before that had two mites. That one has a mite on its abdomen. It was one that had two mites on it. Poor little guy, poor lady. Anyway, what I'm gonna do with these bees is I'm gonna do an alcohol wash, and it was a practice. And uh, there, that black, that black one with a black abdomen has a, a mite. I don't see the one that had two. That one has one right there. I'm just gonna practice doing alcohol wash on these bees. So I have here Easy Check. It's from, uh, it's a Varroa Easy Check from Veto Pharma. Uh, Veto Pharma, Veto Pharma. Veto Pharma. And what, what happens is you catch the bees in this container, you put the, put the alcohol down in here, put the, put the bees in this container, uh, close it up, and then uh, shake it, and then you count the mites that are on the bottom here. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the alcohol in here. And I just have some alcohol. Oh, it's not open. That's probably enough. And then what they say to do is to shake the bees into a container, something like this. And then you use the scoop. You want about, you scoop it up. You want like 300 bees, 300 bees.
Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now we're gonna get the take these bees and shake them in here. I'm gonna look to see if there's if I can see any bees here that have uh, mites on them that you can see. Yeah, that one has one. I don't know if you can see this one right here has one under its wing. I'll just hold it right here. You can maybe look and see what you can see. Yep, that one has two right there. That one has two. This one right here. Right there has two on it. That one has one. This one has two. This one right here has two. So I know I'm going to get mites when I do this wash, um, but this is just going to be a practice. So we're just going to bump these into here. Not even 300 bees. 300 bees is about a half a cup. So, I'm put the alcohol here, put this cup in. And then we're going to put the bees in and cover it. Yeah, it's not even 300 bees. And then the next step is you just swirl the alcohol onto the bees. The sad part is that it kills the bees, but it also kills the, uh, the mites and releases them from the bee's body. So that you can count them. Now the idea is that you would do this on a on a healthy hive, and when you do that, you'll be able to count and see just how many per 300 bees. Do a statistical analysis of how many mites are in that sample. So what this means also is that the rest of my bees, the rest of my bees are under stress from mites. And uh, they currently have uh, treatment on, some of them currently have treatment, the ones that don't have honey supers, have a treatment called Apigard. It's a two week treatment for the first treatment and then two weeks for the second treatment. Now we just take a look and count the uh, Varroa mites. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> there's so many, you can't count them. There's so many, they're uncountable. So these bees, um, these bees will not be going back into the apiary, apiary unless they happen to fly in there. I'm gonna freeze the brood, uh, whatever fruit brood is left here, I'm gonna freeze that. So I'll try to get a picture of the the varroa on the on the bottom of this. Uh, it's ridiculous how many there are in just these few bees. So let's see if I can show you the varroa mites. Can you see that? See all the varroa mites in the bottom. All those little round things of varroa mites. It's like uncountable. It's crazy. So all my bees are under stress. 
So treat, treat, treat. That's what I'm doing. All right. Like I say, a sad day in the apiary. Lost at least one hive. Treating to, hopefully I won't lose any more. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a great day.